Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to talk about a very important topic in relation to extended water fasting, which is where you fast for multiple days in a row, which I've talked about extensively on this channel in a few different videos, but I normally talk mostly about daily intermittent fasting. But today we're going to be focused upon extended water fasting. So so many people that embark on the journey of doing an extended water fast tend to find time and time again that they end up gaining so much weight back after doing the water fast and doing the refeeding phase and going back to their normal way of eating and quite a few times people even gain more weight back than what they had before they done the water fast which water fasting is a really really good way to lose weight very very rapidly and I did make a video how you can do extended water fast for serious weight loss and if you haven't seen that I put a link for a video up above now so if you want to check that out you can click that link up above and watch that video so for obvious reasons it can be very annoying if you've gone to do extended water fasting for weight loss and then you gain all the weight back or you gain even more additional weight than you had before the water fast. So you really want to be making sure that you're doing some things to sustain the weight loss benefits you've got from doing an extended water fast. So I'll explain to you in a short while some things you can do to sustain the weight loss benefits that you've got. But for obvious reasons, when you go back to eating, you are going to gain some weight back, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing or whatsoever. Ever. This is completely healthy and normal for it to occur. But if you keep gaining loads and loads and loads of excess weight after a water fast, that isn't necessarily the best thing to be happening. And there's some very obvious reasons why a lot of people gain excess weight after a, a water fast. And after I've explained these, then I'll go on to some solutions. So, so many people, because they've not been eating for an extended period of time, when they first consume some food, when they break their water fast, it can kick in hunger like crazy and I've experienced this in the past because I've done a lot of extended water fasting over the last four to five years that your body is saying oh my god I've got food finally and I haven't had food for so long and it doesn't know when you're next going to get food after that so a lot of time the cravings can kick in and hunger can just get out of control where you just want to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and binge and binge and binge which I had done that earlier on in my journey with extended water fasting many many years ago so this is something that you want to be very careful of when you come back to your normal way of eating slowly ease yourself back in to eating foods and you'd normally want to break the fast with easy to digest foods whether it's a green fruit juice or some fruit that is high in water content and then as your digestive system starts to get woken up and it starts to get used to actually consuming some sort of food then you can go on to denser foods and this is where a lot of people make a huge huge mistake a lot of people will eat certain foods that really aren't the best foods to break your fast with that can make you feel absolutely awful on and it could be certain foods that just stimulate your appetite to make you want to eat more and more food and just completely go on a wild binge. So first off, you want to be eating some whole foods when you have broke your extended water fast for days and days in a row. So eating the most micronutrient rich foods that you possibly can consume because the more micronutrient rich the foods are the more easily you're going to be satiated unlike if you go back to loads of processed nutrient void factory made foods that are just not going to satiate you whatsoever and have a lot of things in such as MSG that can make you feel hungry and make you want to eat way more food than you actually need to and alongside that which I have found it makes it very easy to go back to normal healthy eating patterns that won't actually make me gain loads of additional weight back after an extended water fast is to do a daily intermittent fasting and if you're someone that isn't aware of daily intermittent fasting the most popular method is the 16-8 method where you normally fast for around 16 hours a day and eat for around an eight hour window so what you're doing is skipping your morning meal and pushing your first meal back to later in the day and if you're someone that doesn't know how to do this in the most safe and effective way for you I'll put a link 
for a video up above that I made, which is called How to Do Intermittent Fasting for Serious Weight Loss, the Complete Guide. And it will be linked up above now, and you can click it now. If you don't know what daily intermittent fasting is, I recommend that you do click that and watch it now. And the reason why I found this is so effective after extending water fast with myself and other various people that I've helped around the world, it just helps you form very healthy eating patterns and you're only eating when you need to eat because a lot of people are eating because they're bored or they're trying to suppress certain emotions that have come up with them that's why a lot of people say certain foods are comfort foods such as ice creams and donuts and other calorie dense foods even chocolate and so on or you could just want something because it just tastes really good and you want the satisfaction from it which is known as instant gratification but i have found for myself personally it helped me overcome all of those different things that used to make me go in the direction of eating food when i didn't need to due to daily intermittent fasting it just makes you way more in tune with your body and i find that even when i eat i normally don't have hunger so i have complete control over my food intake and the type of foods that i want to eat so it's really easy for me to stick to a healthy diet that helps me keep the physique that I desire. And the brilliant thing about daily intermittent fasting, it is shown through scientific research to increase testosterone production in men anywhere from 200 to 400% and in females around 100 to 130 percent human growth hormone in females by about a thousand three hundred percent and human growth hormone anywhere up to two thousand percent in men it also lowers insulin which is a fat storage hormone it improves insulin sensitivity it gets your body to produce a hormone known as glucagon which is a fat burning hormone because it allows your body to go in the fat burning state and obviously because you're in that fasted state your body is burning its own body fat as a fuel source because it hasn't got any fuel source from food whilst you're in that daily in a and fasted state so all of those things give you amazing weight loss benefits so if you go straight from extended water fasting to intermittent fasting it's going to help you sustain the benefits for the weight loss benefits that you've got from extended water fasting and then you're also getting the daily additional weight loss benefits from the daily intermittent fasting so by doing that every single day you're going to sustain the results that you've got with dropping your body fat percentage and actually able to sustain it long term rather than just rebounding after extended water fast and getting those amazing weight loss benefits which can be very disheartening for people so it's not just about the extended water fast that you're doing it's about what you do after the water fast and so many people do so many things wrong and then they wonder why they gain all the weight back so you want to be having a consistent daily practice that's helping you to sustain the weight loss benefits you got and daily intermittent fasting is going to allow you to do that and you can eat whatever diet that you want combined with daily intermittent fasting there's some people that do it with the bulletproof diet some people with a vegan diet the low carb diet the ketogenic diet the warrior diet one meal a day diet and so many other different diets so eat a type of diet that makes you feel the best every single day within your mind and body holistically and that you know is really going to complement the intermittent fasting to give you the greatest weight loss benefits that you can sustain long term and i found most people do well either on a whole foods plant-based vegan diet for keeping their weight really low a ketogenic diet whether it's vegan or not vegan a raw vegan diet the one meal a day diet which the warrior diet is one of those and there's also the blake's diet which is another type of one meal a day diet or if it fits your macros diet so if you're someone that's interested in any of those types of diets i'd recommend one of those like five to six ones that i've just mentioned you can do your own research into them if any of them seem to interest you and you may not know what those types of diets entail with what types of food you're eating but you can do some research into them and if you feel drawn to them experiment with them see if they're working for you combined with daily intermittent fasting and if they are then continue doing it if not try out a different diet and even though i've mentioned you need to go on to a specific healthy diet that's going to help you sustain the greatest weight loss benefits that you can after your extended or water fast and even continue to get additional weight loss benefits after it is that you can actually go back to eating very unhealthy foods as you will see if you look into blake's diet he eats one meal a day but a 
of so many unhealthy foods, around 4,000 calories a day, and he lost around 60 pounds of weight just by doing this on a regular basis. And he's eating loads of foods with sugar in and refined carbohydrates and other certain foods that a lot of people say will make you gain weight. But because he's doing it combined with intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting is one of those ultimate weight loss hacks where you can eat certain foods that would normally make you gain weight when eating multiple meals a day with normally snacks in between like most people do, and actually lose weight and not gain or weight, which can be very appealing to a lot of people. It may not be appealing to you, but if you're someone that doesn't want to give up certain unhealthy, indulgent foods that you love, and you actually want to have the dream body that you desire, intermittent fasting can allow you to eat those certain foods and not need to be concerned about gaining loads of body fat whilst eating them. And alongside all these things that I mentioned, I would recommend easing yourself back in to regular exercise because obviously after extended water fast, you are weaker. So slow and steady wins the race. Gently ease back into exercise and keep a consistent practice of exercising on a regular basis basis and do some sort of exercise that is giving you the physique you desire so if you're someone that wants to maximize muscle growth as much as possible bodybuilding or calisthenics is probably going to be the best for you but if you're someone that wants to gain muscle and also keep body fat a lot lower you could do bodybuilding but normally calisthenics or crossfit would be better with circuit style training or if you're someone that just wants a very lean slender body with really low body fat percentage then some sort of high intensity interval training or even long distance running or long distance cycling would be the best for you so find the training that works for you to give you the physique that you desire and just make sure that you're disciplined and stick to it because just doing it short term for obvious reasons is not going to give you the best weight loss benefits and if you're someone that's interested in calisthenics which is type of body weight training which is what i mostly do alongside daily intermittent fasting on a vegan diet you don't necessarily need to eat a vegan diet like i said earlier it's just for me that is the type of diet that is an align for me due to the ethical reasons moral reasons and other different things and i feel absolutely amazing on it i'm sort of diverting in a different direction now so yeah if you're interested in calisthenics i'll put a link up above for a playlist of all the different calisthenics workout videos that I've created on this channel. And there is many different beginner calisthenics workout videos that you could follow along with and help you get a type of physique that you maybe desire that calisthenics could help you achieve. And something I wanna add is quite a lot of people can get intermittent fasting, get weight loss benefits, but then a lot of people hit a plateau or they're not getting the greatest weight loss benefits that they want from it. And there can be many different reasons as to why this is happening. And a lot of people are making a lot of common mistakes of intermittent fasting. It's not actually giving them the full benefits from intermittent fasting because they're doing certain things that break them out of the fasting state, whether they're aware of it or not. And I did make a video called the five reasons why you're not losing weight with daily intermittent fasting. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link for it up above and you can check that out now by clicking the link. If that interests you, you can click that now. And one last thing I wanna add is I have met so many people that have done anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 day, 50 day water fast. And what I see time and time again with so many people that do this, as I mentioned a little bit earlier on, is they go back to unhealthy eating patterns and unhealthy lifestyle patterns and practices. And then they wonder why they just start to go backwards in health and start to regain weight. And I find with many of these types of people that ever do these unsupervised extended water fasts or a supervised water fast at some sort of retreat center around the world, is time and time again, they are just these type of people that don't want to have very consistent, daily, disciplined, healthy lifestyle and eating patterns to give them the best health and body that they desire. Instead, what they want to do is go back to all these unhealthy lifestyle patterns and eating patterns and then just do a few times a year or a couple of times a year some very, very long water fast, which... Yeah, you can do that if you want to, but it's all about what you're doing every single day. And this is where a lot of people are not very disciplined or whatsoever, because it can be quite hard to be disciplined when you've never been disciplined before. So it's all about forming new healthy habits that can make you feel the best every single day, give you the best results every single day, short term and long term as well. So you need to have this big burning desire within you where you want the body of your dreams so much that you're willing to do everything that you need to on a daily 
basis like I do every single day. So that is just something to be aware of. And if you're someone that wants to learn loads of information on intermittent fasting, I'll also put a link for a playlist up above, which is a playlist of every intermittent fasting information or a video that I've ever made on this channel. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. I love answering your questions. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. I don't mind. I need to get some feedback from people and whether it's good or not. I know whether they like this type of content or not. So this really gives me a good idea whether I should make these type of videos or not in the future. And please share this video with anyone else that you think would like to learn about what I've shared with you today in relation to why a lot of people end up gaining a lot of weight back after an extended or water fast. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis on specific subjects such as extended water fasting, daily intermittent fasting, calisthenics, also what I eat and do in a day videos, calisthenics workout and progression videos, weight loss videos, and many other different videos to share with you so much valuable and effective information that will help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. Like I've managed to and many people that have watched my videos on YouTube and so many people that I've helped and coached around the world. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.